So finally, let's look at some past questions that have to do with permutation and combination. And this question will prove to you that the questions on an this topic are usually quite easy to tackle. So in this first question, we are asked that in how many ways can the word totality be arranged? So this is a classic example when we have indistinguishable letters. So now we have a to totality. So how many letters do we have all together? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is going to be 8 factorial but over. Now there are some recurring letters. And as you can see, the letter T occurs how many times? Thrice. So write what? Take a factor here. How about the letter O? Once. So there's no need to write it. The letter A once. You don't write L once, I once, and Y once. So the only letter that appears more than once is letter T. So that will give us 8 factor here, which is the total numbers that we have over 3 factor here, which represents the T that appears three times so this becomes eight factorial becomes eight times seven times six times five times four times three factorial then over three factorial and this cancels this when you multiply all these together you get six seven two zero so the number of ways in which these letters can be arranged is what six thousand seven hundred and twenty and that makes a the correct option in the next question we are told to find the number of ways in which the word letters in the word acceptance can be arranged so how many letters do acceptance have you can see acceptance have a many letter one two three four five six seven eight nine ten acceptance has ten letters so we have ten factorial over how many times does letter A appear? Appears once, twice. So it appears two times. So we have two factorial. How about letter C? One, two, three. It appears twice. So we have three factorial. How about letter E? Letter E appears twice. So write it. Sorry. Two factorial. Then how about letter P? Just once. So there's no need to write that out. Letter N just once also. So this is same as what? 10 factorial over 2 factorial times 2 factorial times 3 factorial. And since this is nature of our option, there's no need to simplify. So if you look carefully, we see that it is option A that corresponds to what we've gotten. Pretty straightforward, right? In the next question, we are asked that in how many ways can five people be seated around a circular table? So you have a circular table and you want to put five people there to sit down. So let me label them as A, B, C, D, and E. So remember, can this table be inverted? No, you can't invert the five people, so you only have one face. And the number of ways when you have a circular arrangement you call is given as what? N minus 1 factorial so this just becomes how many are there there are five so this becomes five minus one factorial and that becomes four factorial and four factorial is what four times three times two times one and that is equals to 24 so there are 24 ways in which five people can be seated around a circular table and that makes a the correct option in this next question we are told to evaluate this expression if n is equal to 15. So if we substitute the value of 15 in the value of n here, we have what? 15 plus 1 combination 15 minus 2. And all that give us 15 plus 1 is what? 16 combination 15 minus 2 is what? 13. And if you recall our formula, n combination r is given as what? n factorial over n minus r factorial times r factorial so 16 combination 13 becomes what 16 factorial over 16 minus 13 factorial 13 factorial and that becomes 16 factorial over 13 minus 16 minus 13 gives me 3 factorial times 13 factorial 
16 factorial is 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 factorial. 3 factorial is 6 times 13 factorial and this cancels out. When you try to simplify all this, this times this times this gives me 3 TV 6 0 and when you divide that by 6, you get what? 560. So the value of n plus 1 combination n minus 2 when n is 15 is 560 and that makes d the correct option. In this next question, we are told that asks that in how many ways can three seats be occupied if five people are willing to sit? So what does this mean? So you have three particular seats. I'm going to put try to sketch out this. So you have the four seat over here, the four seat, you have the second seat over here, and you have the third seat over here. So now you want to fix three people on this seat out of a group of five people. So you can see the first person or the first seat can be occupied by any of the five people. So you have five here. Now, the second seat can be occupied by any of the remaining four people. So you have four. And the last seat can be occupied by any of the remaining three people. So you have three. And when you multiply this together, what do you get? You get 60. So another way to think about it is to ask yourself, is this a permutation or a combination question? And to figure that out, you ask yourself, does the order really matter? So now, we have three seats, the fourth seat, the second seat, and the third seat. Now, as you can see, the order really matters because the first person sitting as the fourth seat is not the same thing as him sitting on the second seat and definitely not the same if he's sitting at the third seat. So the position in which they sit down is important. So the order of selection is really important. So we know that this is what a question that has to do with permutation. So another way we can solve this is by writing what? 5 and we're trying to permutate theory. 5 permutation theory. So we know that n permutation r, this is an alternative solution, is what? n factorial over n minus r factorial. And that will give me 5 factorial over 2 factorial, which is 5 times 4 times 3 times, times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. 5 minus 3 is 2. So this cancel this. 5 times 4 times 3 gives me 60 ways. So you can see you can also make use of the permutation formula. But as you note, since the seats are labeled, you know that these seats are unique. They are not the same seats. So you know that the order matters and that is why we made use of permutation. Let's move on to the next example. We are asked that in how many ways can in how many ways can six subjects be selected from ten subjects for our examination? So let's assume you are planning to take your WIAC exam and you have to select just six subjects. So you have ten subjects and you have to select six subjects out of those ten which you are going to write for your WIAC. So now I have to save this class's question. Is this, does the order really matter here or does the order not matter? So let's think about it. Let's assume those math, those subjects include, say, I'm just going to list out those three, math, English, chemistry, biology, and physics. So let's imagine now that out of the six subjects you want to select, you, you decide to take English first, then you decide to take math second, and decide to take chemistry third, and so on, till you get to the sixth course. Now, imagine that instead of taking English first, you decide to take math first, then decide to take English, then decide to take chemistry to you get your six number or your six subject. You can see that provided that you select English, math, and chemistry, it does not matter which you select first and which you select second, provided that six of them are still going to remain there at the end of the day. So this arrangement is the same as this arrangement because the order does not matter. Either I select math or English first, does not really matter. What matters is that they are both included in the six subjects at the end of the day. 
So we know that in this case, the order does not matter. So this is a classic combination problem since the order does not matter. So the number of ways we just be given as what? 10 combination 6. And we know that n combination r is what? n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. And that gives me 10 factorial over 10 minus 6 gives me 4 factorial times 6 factorial. And that will give me 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 factorial over 4 gives me 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 4 factorial times 6 factorial and this cancels out this guy when you try to simplify when you multiply all these together you get 5040 and the denominator gives you 12 and when you divide those two numbers it gives you 24 rather 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 gives you 24. So when you divide 50, 40 by 24, you get 210. So there are 210 ways in which you can select 6 subjects from 10 subjects. So the correct option here is option D. Now let's move on to the last question that I'll be looking at. And it says that in how many ways can a delegation of 3 women be chosen from 5 men and three women if at least one man and one woman must be included so i want to form a delegation that is made up of three people and i have five men to select from and three women to select from but there is a condition the condition is that at least there must be one man and one woman in this committee so what are the possible ways in which this condition can be made so there are two major ways so out of these three people that I want to select the delegation can be made up of the first scenario I have two men and I have one woman so this is the first case so it fulfills this condition in which I have one man and one woman or the delegation can be made up of one man and two women so it also fulfills this condition and there's no other possibility because if you have just three men then it wouldn't fulfill this condition so these are the two scenarios that you have to fulfill and remember when you have or what it means is that what you add when you're talking about our set so what do we and even in probability so what do we do now we find the number of ways in which this scenario is possible and the number of ways in which this scenario is possible then we sum them up together so the possibility of selecting two men and one woman. So for the men now, for the men, it's going to be what? I'm selecting two men out of five men. So that'll be what? Five combination two and the other does not matter. And I'm selecting just one woman out of three women times three combination one. So what would that give me? Five combination two. So that would be what? Five factorial over 3 factorial times 2 factorial and 3 combination 1 as we discussed will just be equals to 3. So what does this become? This becomes 5. When you simplify this, you get what? 10 times 3 and that is equals to 13. So this scenario, possibility of this scenario happen is what? Or the number of ways in which this scenario can happen is in 30 ways. How about the second possibility when you just have just one man and two women? So the number of ways in which you can select one man and two women from a group of five men and three women will be equal to what? I'm selecting one out of five. Five combination one. Then for the women times, I'm selecting two out of three times three combination two. And what would that give me? Five combination one is going to be five. If we simplify, and three combination two is three. You can try to solve this on your own to see how we get that. And you should get that. So 5 times 3 is what? 15. So now the number of ways in which is possible. Since there are two scenarios, we said that we have to find the sum of those two possible ways. So the sum is just going to be because the first scenario or the first possibility is what? 30. And the second possibility is what? 15. So 30 plus 15 gives us what? 45. And that makes D the correct option. So you can see having a gap a deep understanding of sets is very useful here and that is because we introduce the concept of all i mean that when we have all then we have to add 
apart aside from that you can see that what we did is just familiar and just simple combinations that we've been solving before so this pretty much sums up our discussion of permutation and combination so now i want you to go through the exercises and try to see if you can tackle the questions and also you should try to go through your past questions and look for additional questions to tackle and if you have any difficulty feel free to make use of the forum to connect with other students so that'll be all for now bye